Listen up, you lot. We've all been there reaching for a refreshing, fizzy drink to quench our thirst. And let's be honest, diet drinks have taken the world by storm, promising guilt-free indulgence. But are they truly as innocent as they seem? In this expose, we're diving headfirst into the tantalizing world of diet drinks, putting two titans head to head, the electrifying Mountain Dew and the classic Diet Coke. We'll dissect their ingredients, weigh their pros and cons, and uncover the truth behind these ubiquitous beverages. Get ready to have your thirst for knowledge quenched, because we're about to serve up a dose of truth that's anything but bland. Right, let's get this straight. Diet drinks are everywhere. They're practically unavoidable, like a bad case of food poisoning after a dodgy takeaway. You'll find them lining supermarket shelves, winking at you from vending machines, and even gracing the tables of Michelin-starred restaurants. But why are they so bloody popular? It's not like they offer some magical elixir of life. Well, the answer lies in our insatiable desire for sweet treats without the calorific consequences. We want to have our cake and eat it too, without turning into a bloated mess. Diet drinks, with their promise of zero calories and guilt-free indulgence, appear to be the perfect solution. They tantalize our taste buds with sugary sweetness, all while whispering sweet nothings about being sugar-free and diet-friendly. But are we being seduced by a siren song that leads to a nutritional shipwreck? Are we sacrificing our health for a fleeting moment of sugary bliss? That's what we're here to uncover. So buckle up, you lot, as we delve into the murky depths of diet drinks and expose their secrets for what they truly are. All right, let's get down to brass tacks and see what these drinks are really made of. First up, we've got Mountain Dew, the neon green behemoth of the soda world. With its vibrant color and in-your-face citrus flavor, it screams for attention, much like a contestant on Hell's Kitchen who's overcooked the lamb. Now a quick glance at the nutrition label reveals the ugly truth. Zero calories, zero sugar. Sounds too good to be true, right? That's because it is. Instead of sugar, Mountain Dew is loaded with artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose, which have been linked to a whole host of health problems. Next up, we have Diet Coke, the elder statesman of the diet drink world. Donning a sleek black can and a more refined taste, it tries to project an air of sophistication, like a perfectly seared scallop. But don't let the fancy facade fool you. Diet Coke is also a zero-calorie, zero-sugar beverage that relies on artificial sweeteners including aspartame, acasulfame K, and phenylalanine. It's like trying to disguise a burnt souffle with a fancy French name. It doesn't change the fact that it's a disaster. Now, I'm not completely heartless. Even I can see the appeal of a drink that promises all the fizz and flavor without the added calories. For those watching their weight or battling the bulge, diet drinks can seem like a godsend. They offer a sweet escape without the guilt trip allowing you to indulge your cravings without derailing your diet. Plus, let's not forget the caffeine kick. Both Mountain Dew and Diet Coke pack a decent amount of caffeine per serving, providing a much needed boost to power through those afternoon slumps. It's like a shot of espresso for your brain, minus the bitter aftertaste. But before you start celebrating with a celebratory swig of diet soda, remember that even seemingly harmless things can have a dark side. Stay tuned. Now here comes the part you've all been waiting for the truth behind these seemingly innocent beverages. It's time to separate the facts from the fiction and expose the potential drawbacks lurking beneath the surface. First up, let's address the elephant in the room, artificial sweeteners. These chemical concoctions may trick your taste buds into thinking you're indulging in a sugary treat, but they wreak havoc on your body in ways you wouldn't expect. Studies have linked artificial sweeteners to a range of health problems, including weight gain, metabolic disorders, and even an increased risk of certain cancers. It's like swapping a juicy steak for a plate of cardboard. You might think you're getting a good deal, but your body knows better. And it's not just the sweeteners that are cause for concern. Diet drinks are also loaded with artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives, all designed to enhance their appearance and shelf life. But at what cost? These additives have been linked to everything from allergies and hyperactivity, to digestive problems and even behavioral issues in children. It's like adding a pinch of arsenic to your apple pie. Sure, it might look and taste all right, but it's bound to leave you feeling worse for wear. All right, enough with the science lesson. Let's get down to what really matters, the taste. After all, what good is a drink if it doesn't tickle your taste buds? Mountain Dew, with its neon green hue and citrusy punch, is like the wild child of the soda world. It's loud, it's brash, and it doesn't care who knows it. Some people love its boldness, while others find it overwhelmingly artificial. Diet Coke, on the other hand, 
aims for a more classic cola flavor with a slightly smoother and less aggressive taste. It's the kind of drink you sip on a hot day, imagining yourself lounging by a pool in the Mediterranean. Ultimately, the choice between Mountain Dew and Diet Coke comes down to personal preference. It's like choosing between a plate of spicy chili and a delicate souffle. It depends on your mood and your palate. But remember, just because something tastes good doesn't mean it's good for you. It's like that time I tasted a contestant's raw chicken. Sure, it might have been cooked perfectly on the outside, but the inside was a recipe for disaster. Now, I'm not saying you need to banish diet drinks from your life entirely. Even a seasoned chef like myself enjoys the occasional indulgence. The key is moderation and making informed choices. If you're craving a diet soda, try limiting yourself to one serving per day, and make sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated. You can also explore healthier alternatives, such as sparkling water with a splash of fruit juice or unsweetened iced tea. These options provide the same refreshing fizz without the added chemicals and artificial ingredients. And remember, reading labels is crucial. Pay attention to the ingredients list and be wary of products that contain artificial sweeteners, colors, flavors, and preservatives. Your body will thank you for it in the long run. It's like choosing between a greasy burger from a questionable takeaway joint and a fresh homemade salad. Sure, the burger might be tempting in the moment, but the salad will nourish your body and leave you feeling satisfied and energized. Right, let's clear the air and debunk some of the most common myths surrounding diet drinks. Myth number one, diet drinks help you lose weight. This is a load of rubbish. While they may be calorie-free, studies have shown that artificial sweeteners can actually trick your body into craving more sugary foods, leading to weight gain over time. It's like trying to extinguish a fire with gasoline. It's only going to make matters worse. Myth number two, diet drinks are a healthier alternative to sugary drinks. This is another fallacy. While they may contain less sugar, diet drinks are packed with artificial ingredients that can have detrimental effects on your health. It's like choosing between a punch in the face and a kick in the gut. Neither option is particularly appealing. Myth number three, diet drinks are safe for everyone. Wrong again. Certain groups of people such as pregnant women, children, and individuals with certain medical conditions should avoid diet drinks altogether. It's like serving raw fish to someone with a shellfish allergy. It's simply asking for trouble. Now, it's time to hear from the people who know these drinks best, the consumers. We've gathered a range of experiences from individuals who regularly consume diet drinks, sharing both the good and the bad. From those who swear by their daily Diet Coke fix, to others who have experienced adverse reactions to artificial sweeteners, these stories provide a glimpse into the real-life impact of these beverages. We'll hear from Sarah, a busy mom who relies on diet soda for a quick energy boost, and John, who developed digestive issues after years of guzzling down Mountain Dew. These personal anecdotes serve as a reminder that everyone's body reacts differently to food and drinks, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's like serving a perfectly cooked steak. Some people prefer it rare, while others like it well done. There's no right or wrong answer, only personal preference. Now I'm not here to tell you what to do. You're all adults, capable of making your own decisions. But as someone who's passionate about food and health, I encourage you to be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Read labels, do your research, and listen to your body. If you experience any adverse reactions after consuming diet drinks, don't ignore them. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset. Don't sacrifice it for the sake of a fleeting moment of sugary bliss. It's like investing your life savings in a dodgy restaurant. It might sound like a good idea at the time, but it's bound to end in disaster. So there you have it, a deep dive into the world of diet drinks, complete with all its fizzy glory and hidden truths. We've explored the science, the myths, and the real life experiences, providing you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your beverage choices. Remember, moderation is key, and there's always a healthier alternative lurking around the corner. Don't be seduced by the allure of zero calories and artificial sweeteners. Like a poorly prepared meal, diet drinks might seem appealing at first glance, but they can leave you feeling unsatisfied and worse off in the long run. Choose wisely, my friends, and always prioritize your health. It's the most important ingredient in the recipe for a happy and fulfilling life. So there you have it. The truth about diet drinks, laid bare. Remember, knowledge is power, and you now hold the key to making informed choices about what you drink. It's like choosing the right ingredients for a recipe. The right choices lead to a delicious outcome. This isn't about deprivation. 
It's about being smart and savvy about what you consume. There's a whole world of delicious and healthy drinks out there, just waiting to be discovered. Now tell me, what's your go-to diet drink and why? Let's get a conversation going in the comments below.